Well, Speed Cafe this year we're once again following a lot of Australians racing around the world and one of them we're happy to say is Matt Simmons back with Nismo this year in the Blancpain series, Matt. The announcement came all pretty late, but you're obviously happy to be racing again. Definitely, I'm really happy to be back in the sun in Monza. Uh, 12 months ago it was all really fresh for me in my first year, so to be back here again uh, with the same team, uh, you know, same car, new drivers, I'm just super excited to get back into it. It's an amazing place to come to, but for you, I guess you've been to these places now, so the expectations change, your goals change as well. Yeah, I feel like there's, there's a bit more pressure on me, um, and I've got to try and manage that, because you know, I've, I've had that year, I've had to come to these new circuits and learn the car a bit more and, and learn the track, and I know that now, so I'm arriving here quite comfortable. I'm kind of enjoying the experience a bit more now, because I believe in what I can do. Uh, so yeah, I feel this year is it's going to be a challenge being in the pro class for the first time. But um, I feel within myself I can do a great job and the team believe in me. So we'll see how far we can go this year. I mean at the end of the day this is what you want, isn't it? Yeah, this, this is my whole dream. I, you know, when you win GD Academy you, you think you know what's possible and you can really, if you work hard, which is what I've been able to do, I've had the opportunities uh, come up and I've been able to grab them with both hands. So I'm really proud to be able to be in the be a professional driver and be racing in the pro class and what has to be one of the you know hardest competitions for GT in the world. I mean there's no doubt there's, there's massive grids in this championship lots of manufacturers great drivers good young guys like yourself I mean there's a lot on the line here isn't there? Yeah look we've got I think it's 31 pro class cars this year so um, it's full of XF1 drivers it's LMP1 drivers lots of open wheeler drivers coming in the best GT drivers in the world and then fresh young talent so the depth is insane but it pushes all of us to be better it's making obviously getting the best out of me every time I'm in the car so I think that's all you can do each time you get out on track and and so far we've, we've been able to achieve that. In terms of the lineup here you know in the uh, the other car is guys that Australians know very well Alex uh, Buncombe and, and Katz Machio also with another academy guy in Lucas Ordonez but what about your car there's two new guys suiting up with you as well. It is, so this year is a bit different for me. We've got uh, Strew and Moore and Matt Parry. Uh, they're both very experienced young racers. They're full of confidence and very talented. So it's great to have them, them on board. They're, they've been really great from the start when we first met at the Monaco training camp before testing. And um, it's a lot of fun with them. They're great off the track. Uh, but you know, this whole weekend, we've just been completely professional and we've had the one goal of just trying to get a great car on track and, and get the best result we can. With putting the team together like that, I mean, what makes you guys gel well? I mean, are you all the sort of same height, stature, all those sort of ergonomic things, or is it also ability as well? Look, I think it's a bit of both. Um, I think you can obviously manage if it's, you know, you've got sort of all sizes, which you can obviously see in 23 with Chio and Lucas and Al, it's a big bit of a difference. Um, but look, we, we've been able to gel quite quickly. Um, our talents are all, all obviously there, and we're all just believing in ourselves and, and pushing each other. So. I think within that we're going to see benefits from and development on my on myself I think throughout the year quite quickly I think. And just finally Nissan and Nismo are still heavily committed to this whole program aren't they? They are it's really great to have Nissan Australia and, and Nismo Japan and um, on board here with us we're so proud to have Motul as well come on board we've got them as one of our major sponsors on the car with the new livery so it's fantastic to have two pro cars in with the Blancpain series this year and hopefully we can get some great results.